Good morning. Today we are going to cook some sweet potato pancakes. And for that we need some baked sweet potato. So that's something we have done in advance. Mo uh, most of the time we actually do this and we have them in the fridge. They can be there for a couple of days. So it's perfect to um, have for breakfast or you can have them uh, just heat them up and have for lunch as well. Uh, we also need some eggs, but if you are on a more strict diet, you could use the egg whites. So you can buy that um, separately or you can just uh, take out the yolk if you want that. And then we need some added in some proteins. You can have some uh, casein or you could use uh, some whey. Uh, we are actually going to use a little bit of both because they both have different uh, structures. Uh, so they have um, influenced the pancakes in different... Uh, the casein makes it the pancakes a bit thicker, um, but the, um, the whey is good as well. And then you can flavor it as you wish. Uh, we are going to go for some uh, cinnamon and some cardamom today. But you could also go a little bit crazy and go for some uh, blueberry. This is a blueberry powder. Or you could use some um, vanilla extract. So you could do different things. And then you probably need some fat for frying. So we are going to use coconut oil. But you could also... Uh, here we have a uh, spray can. So if you are, want to reduce fats even more, you could use this as well. But we are going to um, use the coconut oil and uh, whole eggs today. We're going to start to take some sweet potato and we are going to use a blender, um, just a magic bullet, but you could use any blender. And if you don't have a blender, don't worry, you could use uh, a plate and use um, a fork and just smash it and mash it. Uh, but we are a little lazy today, so we are going to use the blender. So, 100 gram of baked sweet potato into the blender. And if you don't have a food scale, uh, don't worry. Uh, 100 gram of sweet potato is roughly about a half sweet potato. So you could just wing it if you that's your thing. So there we have about 100 gram sweet potato. And after that we're going to add the eggs. Um, and as I said earlier, you could um, use um, just um, egg whites, if you don't want uh, the whole egg and the fat in that. So one egg is about um, five to eight grams of protein, depending on the size, and around seven grams of fat. Um, so if you want to use uh, just egg whites, you could have like 150 grams of egg white will be uh, enough for this recipe. And then we're going to uh, reset the scale. There we have it. And then we're going to add some, um, some casein and some whey. And I will go for 50-50 today. So we will have uh, about 8 grams of each. Here we have 8. Sorry about the mess. That's, um, that's something you have to deal with when you're cooking. And then we add the whey as well. Here we have it. And then the last step is the flavor. And that could be any flavor of your choosing. I will uh, go for cinnamon. And um, I would suggest to go a little bit overboard because uh, more you marry is uh, better. So just add a lot of uh, spices. And we add the cardamom as well. And that is more or less it. So just add the lid and put it into the blender. So now hold on your ears because it won't be loud. And there we have it. Some smooth, nice looking batter. So next step is to heat up the frying pans on medium high temperature and um, add some, uh, some coconut fat or uh, some coconut spray to that. So that's the next step. So see you in the frying pan. So 
know the frying pan is hot, we have added some coconut oil. Um, you prefer to do that before you heat up the pan, so uh, don't heat up an empty pan. So the, it's, we have a, I have this on seven, uh, on a scale from one to nine, so it's so pretty high. Uh, I would probably take it a bit down, but uh, five or six or something like that is good. And here's the batter, so let's start frying. Um, I normally do this in smaller pancakes, so like three or four. Um, then it's much easier to, to flip them uh, afterwards. So you don't get this kind of nice, big, bad looking pancakes. You get these more sweet, uh, small ones. One. Two. And three. So there we have it. And as you can maybe you can see, it's um, frying quite well here at the, in the coconut fat. Um, this is a non-stick uh, pan, and I think that's uh, more or less a need to have if you're going to do this, because otherwise you will have problem uh, flipping the pancakes and you will have something more looking like a sweet potato mash or something uh, rather than pancakes. So I think we uh, will let this fry for a couple of minutes and then we will flip them. So now you can see that the pancakes are getting these small air bubbles on the top. And that's a sign for every pancake, not only this uh, recipe, but uh, every, every recipe. When you see this bubble on top, it's, um, it's ready to flip. So we are flipping. One, a little bit too much fried maybe. No, perfect. And the last one. So there we have it. I think I'm going to turn this bit down. And um, you don't need as much as time on the other side as on the first side. So um, maybe a minute or two. The pancakes are ready. So we just, whoop, one. Look at this, wow. Two. Three. Um, you could add some honey uh, when you make it, but you could also add it afterwards. And uh, so I'm doing the afterwards. So we add some honey. There we have that. And I'm going for blueberry jam. And we also have some fresh blueberries. So we will add that as well. Whoop. Don't let the blueberries escape. And now is the best part. We are going to try it. So, piece of pancake, some honey, some blueberry jam, and a blueberry. Whoop. Not that easy. Mm-hmm. Wow, this is good. This is really, really good. So definitely try it. Perfect Sunday pancake recipe or every day's pancake day, I would say. So um, <coughs> I hope you enjoyed this. And um, if you want more of this kind of content, please subscribe. And the uh, like button is uh, click that. Smash it, what you say on YouTube is always um, Appreciate it. So please do that and I see you next time. Enjoy your pancakes.